Hello everybody and welcome to Quest for Creative and holy crap it's hamsters the first time ever I have ever uh mm. anyways okay uh so this is a new series that I thought up a few days ago and uh I've decided to actually do it uh but I since I just created this world as you guys have just saw I I'm going to be concentrating on you know not dying so I'm going to let past me explain what's going on, where I've been, where I'm going, that kind of thing. Uh, so take it over, past me. Thank you, future me. It all began a long time ago, actually about a few months ago, when I got a toothache. It was the kind of ache that goes the entire way up your head to the top of your cranium. You know, the kind that blurs your vision and makes it hard to walk. Now, it wasn't the unexpected, I guess, technically. I should have expected it. I should have seen it coming because in my youth, I didn't really take care of my teeth. And teeth aren't like skin or bone. They don't heal. Once you get a cavity, there's only one direction that cavity is going to go, and that's worse but i never went to the dentist to get it taken care of or anything like that so eventually it just got worse and worse and worse now i can make excuses for it uh, i have all four of my wisdom teeth and they impacted my molars they grew in wrong they impacted my molars um i also found out that my mountain dew addiction was pretty seriously working against me turns out that mountain dew is actually apparently the worst kind of soda you can drink for your teeth uh, my dentist compared it to meth mouth, which honestly I didn't know was a thing, but then again, I don't do meth, so whatever. Uh, so I finally got sick of it. I'm like, this needs to be taken care of, but I don't have dental insurance. So I went and looked up dental insurance, and then I'm like, I have no idea what the crap I'm talking about. So I went to talk to my dad, who's actually in the medical industry, well, used to be in the medical industry, and he knows way the hell more about this stuff than I do. And he basically told me straight up, Dental health insurance is kind of worthless. It'll take care of regular visits and cleaning, but if you have a condition, like if you have a cavity or impacted molars or something like that, uh, it, you're kind of screwed. So, um, but he's like, you know, this needs to be taken care of. We'll take care of it, and we'll figure out the, the whole money issue later. So I go to the dentist in an emergency check or ver emergency visit, and he looks at it for two seconds and says, extraction. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> but like I said, it had to have been expected. I didn't take care of my teeth in my youth, and yeah. Then he looked over a couple of my other teeth, and my other teeth weren't that great to begin with. Um, like I said, I had all four wisdom teeth. And the four wisdom teeth had actually crushed three of my molars. And one of them had actually pushed other teeth forward enough that it compressed the first molar up against the canine and split that molar in half. So, yes, for the longest time I was running with about half teeth some places. <laughs> um, so, anyways, they set me up for like three days later to actually get the bothersome tooth and the wisdom tooth behind it out and you know they yanked it and it hurt like hell and you know i just kind of de dealt with it uh they gave me my vicodin for the pain and i at this point in the story that's not particularly relevant but it is in the future i'm getting to that in a moment uh so anyways uh, i dealt with that i got used to not having teeth there and i got used to the idea that hey you know, I can eat properly on that side of my face again because I'm not getting crap stuck in my teeth. Well, in that tooth, I still had problems with the bottom teeth. Anyway, so the second time round, I went and got the two lower teeth taken out. Now, my wisdom tooth on the bottom had a problem. It was still in my jaw. So, like, uh, the the if you imagine the tooth... And your jaw that goes up in the back to where it connects to the joint. Well, where it goes up was actually still wrapped around my tooth. So they had to tear out that part of my jaw to get the tooth out. 
This is how fucked up my teeth were. Um, and uh, so they yanked that out, and it was bad. I mean, the pain was pretty impressive, even with several shots of, I think, what they said was lidocaine or something like that. I don't know. It, local anesthetic, basically. Even with that, it hurt a lot. So they upped my prescription. They said, okay, Vicodin's probably not going to do it for you, so we'll give you Percocet. And I'm like, okay, well, I've had Percocet before. It's not really a problem for me, so... I should be good with that. Well, it turns out that one of the side effects that doesn't seem to be listed for Percocet is severe depression. Now, it kind of makes sense. That's kind of how these painkillers work. They screw with your chemical balance, and chemical imbalances can cause some pretty weird things. Uh, that's actually one of the main causes of depression is a chemical imbalance. Well, that fucked with my head. Bad. And I hit depression like a ton of bricks. And it kind of caused problems for me. I was still recording before all this happened. And I was still with the crew at CommuniCraft. But uh, when I hit depression and then we hit a rough patch with our mod pack and we were arguing back and forth about it. And yeah, I just kind of went all kinds of pissy. and It was bad. Well, the next day I suddenly realized... If I can get that pissy about something as simple as the mod pack, then I am not for, I'm not good person to be an admin of a server. So I quit the server. I gave them the backup copies of uh, the, the modded server and the vanilla server and said, I, I'm out, I'm done, and I might not even be coming back to YouTube. And that was a thought for mine for like a while. And... You know, now it's, well, today, technically, uh, yesterday for you guys, depending on when I'm uploading this, I got two more of my teeth removed yesterday, and I have one left, one left to get out. Um, it's just a wisdom tooth. I'm not looking forward to that one because it's probably also in my jaw, but uh, they gave me Vicodin this time because I specifically requested no Percocet because of the depression thing, and... I'm actually doing pretty good right now. I have drowsiness problems, but I'm not depressed. And I'm actually feeling pretty good. Uh, though I think the last pill I took was kind of a placebo. I, I don't know if they do that, but it doesn't seem to be working. I still feel the pain, and I don't feel drowsy. And I feel kind of wound up, which would make sense because I kind of slept through the past from yesterday since, you know, the, the whole dental thing. And a lot this morning because of the medication. And I feel kind of wound up, so I uh, decided to go with this idea that I had. I've been kind of forming the past couple of days. And the idea started with me playing uh, the Attack of the BT mod pack. And I was having fun with it. I was trying to be in, you know, doing the survival thing. And just, I was doing it solo because I didn't want to, I don't want to go back onto another server. But, you know, so I was having fun with it. And then I thought, you know what, I could take all this. And combine it in a way that I could get infinite of this item. And the f idea started to form over the next couple of hours and days. And I thought, you know what? That is a really good idea for a series. Basically what I do is I take a mod pack. And I abuse the hell out of it. To get as much out of it as I can. Basically, uh, 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 okay, you remember... Uh, Equivalent Exchange 2. Not 3, not the new one, but Equivalent Exchange 2. I don't know how many of you all know that one, but after a while, it was basically creative mode. You would just have these sh rows upon rows of blue chests. I don't even remember what they were, like compressors or something like that. I forget. But they would duplicate items. And it was infinite, and it was basically free. There was no consequences to it. So all you had to do was go down to your giant storage room with all of the stuff and pull out what you needed at the time and then build. And it was fun. Uh, it was it was basically creative mode, but with damage. However, if you added the armor and that flying ring, it was creative mode. Just straight up creative mode. Yeah. 
So uh, that's what I thought I could do. That's what I thought of. It's like, why don't I take a mod pack, abuse the hell out of it, and see how close to creative mode I can get. Now, of course, there are going to have to be some rules to this because I could abuse the mod pack itself and make a creative mode. So the rules are going to be as followed. One, it has to be the mod pack as downloaded. I cannot fiddle with any of the settings. I cannot fiddle with any of the mods. I can't add mods. I can't remove mods. I can't change mods. It has to be exactly as downloaded. Two, I have to be in hard mode. So not peaceful or anything like that, but hard mode. So I'm still going to have a little bit of a challenge, especially since a lot of these mod packs are actually specifically designed not to do what I'm trying to do. Uh, what were the other rules? I forget what the other rules were, but I'll bring them up as I think of them. But uh, yeah, so those are the two main ones anyways. The mod pack has to be as is, and I have to be in hard mode. I cannot be in peaceful, and I cannot be in creative. So... Yeah, so I decided to start with the Attack of the Bee Team mod pack because I like the mod pack. It's actually kind of a fun mod pack. I'm, there are a couple of things that I personally miss, like computer craft. And there are a couple of things that would make this whole process a hell of a lot easier, like build craft. Build craft could probably do exactly what I want it to do. Uh, but anyways, I started fiddling with it uh you know, a couple of, for the past couple of days, started fiddling with it, see if it's even feasible to do this. And I, as I was playing with it, I realized that it's actually easier to do than I first thought. Now, I figured this was going to be kind of hard because it's like a professionally made heart mod pack. It's made by the people at TechIt. So yeah, uh, the B double O and generic B, they got lucky. They got an actual professional to do this stuff, something that nobody else can do apparently. I don't know how to do it. I mean, we had all kinds of problems making the community mod mod pack, which they're still working on. So it's still a thing, uh, and it was a pretty fun mod pack. So I'm not dissing that mod pack. I actually quite enjoyed it. But I'm going with this one because it's more of a challenge. I could probably abuse the hell out of the community mod mod pack like mad, but I'm going to go with this one because it's more of like a, a professional kind of thing. It's more of a challenge. Um so yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do, and that's actually what you guys are watching now, or at least from my point of view, what you will be watching, and that's me gathering up as many supplies as I can. My first task in this is to gather up all kinds of supplies, uh, just iron, copper, diamond, anything I could find, and gather it all into one place. That way, when I start building this stuff, it's right there. I don't have to worry about going out and hunting for it. Because the idea of this is a combination between a Let's Play and my Learning with Chrono uh, videos. Where the emphasis on is on the learning part. I'm sure you guys will quite enjoy that I can, you know, uh, that I'm showing you how to do all of this stuff. Plus, I hope, I doubt this will happen, but I hope that mod developers would actually look at this kind of thing and say oh, well, it could be abused in this way, and we don't want that, so let's change it so that you can't do that anymore. But that's the main goal of this series. Uh, plus, I also plan on doing a couple other things on my YouTube channel. One of the other things I plan on doing is actually going back and looking through all of the previous Learning with Chronos, all of the tutorial stuff that I did, and see if that stuff is still valid or if it needs to be updated or added to possibly. Uh, that idea actually spawned from a bunch of requests I got recently about how do I get my IP address? Something I specifically stated in that video that I'm not going to go over because it's too much of a giant pain in the ass. And... I still hold to that. It's too much of a giant pain in the ass. However, I intend to at least try to go over it. I mean, it's one thing to get your IP address, but that particular question actually spawns other questions like, how do I forward the port? And that's not the easy one. I mean, the, the getting the public IP address of your computer is easy. You go to Google, you type in, what's my IP address? And boom, you got it. There, there you go. That, that's your IP address. But that's not going to work for most people because most people don't have their computers directly connected to the internet anymore. It's an extremely rare thing. 
in fact, it's kind of always been an extremely rare thing. But uh, anyways, so you have to forward ports, you have to open ports and firewalls, and it's not easy because each router is different. I mean, I have a DDWRT router, so it's a lot more advanced than most home routers. But I guess the concept is kind of the same. I mean, it's just port forwarding. Unless you do have like a, a, a Cisco router or one of the really, really high-end routers that you actually do have to open open ports in your firewall. But chances are, if you have one of those routers, you're not coming to ask me about what's your IP address. Anyways, so uh, that's what I plan on doing with this. And I'll probably throw in a few of the other games that I really enjoy playing. Uh, like I've been wanting to do a cloud-built video because that game is freaking awesome it's 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 like mirror's edge with jetpacks of course there's another one coming out um oh i forget what it's called but it's like mirror's edge on skates it's like tony or well it i would say it's like tony hawk but they're rollerblades not a skateboard uh but it, it would be like tony hawk in first person and it looks like it has so much potential but it's it's still on kickstarter and it's actually pretty awesome uh hoover hoover i believe it's called but uh, I can't wait for that one to come out because it looks like it would be so much fun. But uh, yeah, so I'll probably intersperse a couple of my other Let's Play videos in there just for the fun of it. But those are the main goals that I have for this channel is the new uh, Quest for Creative series and then my uh, revisits of Learning with Chrono and probably continuations of Learning with Chrono and that kind of thing. Uh, basically, I, I, I want to focus on what got me the most views, and that's really uh, that's what's important, because it's what you guys want. It, it's, it, that's what YouTube is. It's all about the community. It's, it's two-way communication between you guys, the viewers, and me, the content creator. And while I do understand that a lot of people do have problems with that, like if you're really, 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 really famous, you really can't handle that kind of thing. Um, if I ever get that far, I might be the same way. In fact, I probably will be, but I'm going to damn well try not to, especially since I only right now have 613 subscribers. Yeah, somebody explain that one to me, but uh, I'll try. Uh, but that, that's, like I said, this is what it's about. It's about communication back and forth between you and me. And that's what makes YouTube great and that kind of stuff. That's that's what makes the internet great. It's a two-way platform, and we really need to start using it as such. But anyway, so that's the idea for my channel. That's where I have been. That's where I plan on going, and that's what I'm doing right now. So I will uh, turn this back over to my future self and let him take it from here. Thank you, past me, for such riveting storytelling man that guy can talk do you notice him going a little bit fast yeah whatever anyways uh as you guys can see i'm just gathering up a whole bunch of supplies that's the point of today's episode is to gather up all kinds of supplies so that i can be ready to abuse this mod pack in the next episode and as you can see i've already kind of gotten myself in a little bit of a pickle it doesn't seem to be too too bad but, uh, yeah, I kind of fell down a hole. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I did. I did. I thought I was going to die. Uh, but I survived, so it's all good. All right, so what I'm going to do, I am going to continue searching for supplies. And don't worry, I'm not going to cheat. This is actually not just about showing you guys how to do it, but... Ooh, I heard a bat. Uh, it's about me doing it myself seeing if i can do it so if i cheated that wouldn't just be cheating you guys that would be cheating myself so it's not gonna happen i hear you i want a bat because bats are freaking great they're like a perfect morph uh they can fly they're tiny Ooh, i wonder if you're in here if i can get him that'll just make my day that'd be a perfect start oh. Alright, I'm gonna hop it. Ugh, this might be a dumb idea. Ooh, bat, 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 bat. Die, 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 die. Yes! And this is why I like the bat so much. I can fly now! Yay! Now I'm not stuck in a hole in the ground. Now I'm willfully in the hole in the ground. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, like I said, I plan on continuing to uh, mine for supplies. My goal is to get a whole crap ton of supplies. And I will probably, possibly, build a simple house. Nothing too impressive, uh, basically vanilla style house kind of thing. Uh, before I get back to you guys in the next episode. But uh, in the next episode, we will start with abusing the mod pack, seeing what we, all we can create, what all we can get away with. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in that next episode. Um, I do want to say this. Uh, as I mentioned, as past me mentioned, this, uh, this is all about you guys. This is two-way communication. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you guys think about it. And a little help you can throw my way here and there would be greatly appreciated. Um, but anyway, so I will end on that note as the pain in my head starts kicking in. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And I love this mod pack. There are so many ores.